This movie will show how to create such a mesh of the bracket in Salome. It is supposed that the bracket is loaded from an external axis with a force acting upwards onto the horizontal hole, and that the bracket is fit to the bottom with four bolts. Therefore, in order to apply the forces and constraints, we will have to make in the mesh special groups inside the horizontal hole and below the heads of the fitting bolts. As well, we will mesh the material above the horizontal cylinder with smaller elements for more accurate solver computations. 3D geometry of the bracket will be imported from a Python script. Let's start Salome. Activate Geo module. And now let's uh, import uh, Python script containing the geometry of the bracket. It's ready. Show it. And fit to the screen. Now let's split the top cylinder with a horizontal plane using partition. So before we should create a plane through the point reduce the size and now use the partition partition will split the volume into two parts it's uh, split it Now let's uh, cut out the uh, small circles around the four holes at the bottom to make uh, the groups on them later. Create a circle initially and then move it uh, to the top of the hole. That's, it's moved. They make a multi-translation to put it over all the four holes. Set the parameters of the multi-translation. Okay, they are now in the correct locations. And now split the top face of the base with these circles. Okay. Now let's create uh, groups to use them in mesh so groups of geometry and this will be the group above the axis hole the top group top volume 
for fine meshing. And uh, now let's add uh, the group of the four circular small faces at the below the bolt heads. Okay, this is the group. Now let's go to mesh module. Create the mesh container with mesh parameters. This is the geometry. Select the shape. This is the algorithm that gain one, two, three D. The mesh is already less computed. Check the numbers in the dialog. Show it only. This is the mesh, initial mesh. Now let's create a submesh at the top of the shape with a little mesh elements. Create a submesh and select the group that we created before in geometry module. Submesh appeared. Let's recompute it. Compute submesh. Check the values. OK. And show it. This is the submesh. Let's reduce the size of the element in the algorithm. In the parameters, uh, reduce the size from 6 to 1 millimeter. OK. Min size 0 0.5. Apply and recompute. The mesh became much finer. Recompute the whole mesh. Now we have a good mesh for accurate computations of this case. This is it. Let's check the quality of the mesh. Special controls, volume controls. We can use uh, various parameters to check the quality of the mesh. Let's use a clipping plane to look inside the shape, inside the mesh. Let's drag the plane, drag and rotate it with the mouse. Check after apply to see the results immediately. This is the interior of the mesh. 
So you see that we can uh, control the quality of the mesh even inside the mesh with clipping planes. Okay, now let's delete the clipping plane to cancel clipping. Now let's make the group of the first circular faces on the base. This is the group. We still need a mesh group inside the upper horizontal hole. Well, I haven't extracted the geometrical faces for it at the beginning, but it's really not a problem. Let's just extract them now with the geometry module and go back to the mesh module. Just call exploding, set faces as the type of subshapes and select the faces. Now put these faces into a geometrical group. Now let's return to mesh module and add the group of nodes on these faces. This is the group. The mesh is ready for the solver. We can export it to a MED file for the solver, or export to another format, or dump it into a Python file, or save the whole Salame session for later usage. That's all. Thank you for your attention.